Hey, hello everyone. What we have right here is a tiny house slash park model slash dream house slash vacation home slash, well, you get the point. All right, let's check it out. Y'all, we're at the 2024 Louisville Manufactured Housing Show. This is a house, actually, let me go ahead and show you this. Some great information. This house is manufactured out of Pennsylvania. Here's some good stuff. If you want to screenshot this, feel free to do so. I'm gonna take you on a little exterior walk around and then we're gonna head inside because we got a good bit to see. Got a loft in this house as well. Let's uh, let's step over here. Look at all these windows and you're really gonna be able to see it on the inside when you're like in the kitchen, I mean in the living room and you're looking out through all these windows. It's just, it's awesome. It's really, it's really sweet. Let me step over here. So yeah, this is the first day of the show here and there are retailers and people in the industry all around. And so super excited to be here. I've had a great time already. But I know there's a little noise in the background. I just want to show you a little bit of the exterior and then we're going to make our way in. We've got some more windows over here. So I wanted to come back here and show you that we've got this right here. We've got, I think, two mini splits on the inside of this house. And then here's a, here's a good look at your main bedroom. And then that's the loft up there as well. All right, circle back through here. And we got to head in because we got a lot to see. As we do make our way on to the inside, I would like to encourage you to drop a like if you would like to. That would help me out a lot. We've got to let's ground it there. Be sure to subscribe and the notification bell if you enjoy these types of tours. I travel all over the nation, come to all these shows and showcase everything in the industry. So be sure to do that. All right, let's head in. So here we are coming inside. I'm gonna see if I can shut this door. I think they're cleaning the floors out there. Try to cut out some of that noise for y'all. Check this out, y'all, this tiny house. I know I don't do a whole lot of these and I probably need to do more because a lot of times they do really well here, here on the channel, but this is one definitely worth posting. Maybe posting twice, you know what I'm saying? No, I'm probably just gonna post it once. Let's start out with the living room. We have the electric fireplace with some shiplap behind it. And these, this is a granite top you're gonna see here and also in the kitchen. So this doesn't, these aren't cabinets that open or anything, but nice little touch there. We got an electrical outlet. We have us a mini split in here. And I just love the windows on this particular model. Just had a guy come over here and said, uh, want to want to look at this house and I think he said it's well uh, it was his favorite one that he's seen here and there's a lot of homes here but this is obviously it was, he said it was just him needs something small so it's perfect setup I'm always thinking vacation spot or whatever but man this would also just be for somebody that's single right here one bedroom one bath perfect right ease into the kitchen you can tell We've got cerebral bar stools around here. You see how that, it goes in there. So you got perfect room to be sitting. Plus, like I mentioned, we have granite tops here. Check it out. We got an electrical outlet under there. We got the white cabinets up top and then we with the gray here on the bottom. And I love looking at quartz and granite because I love how it overlays over your sink like this. We got some nice light as well. Let's see what we got. The built-in microwave, let's open one cabinet. Same back, is this the same? Yeah, same exact backsplash. I don't know if it's maybe a little bit different color, but it's the exact same. And you can definitely, there's probably different options and stuff on this, okay? So keep that in mind as well. Check out those windows up top. So you guys are really tall ceilings in this. 
particular tiny house. We've got a loft down here. We're gonna start things off with the bathroom, then we will look at the bedroom and I'll probably finish things up with the loft. But we have us a pocket door that goes into your bath. And you can tell this bath is nice. Got the beautiful tile that I love to see. So what do y'all think of so far? Y'all drop a comment, let me know, okay? We're gonna go down here and look at the bedroom. Here's our refrigerator, let's open that up. Yeah, reach in there and get ya. You, you know one thing that I love to eat these days? Hummus, y'all eat, any any y'all eat hummus? Now I'm not, I don't want y'all be like, this guy's really healthy, no, cause I usually eat it with potato chips. <laughs> but I love hummus. That's kind of my go-to snack. Check this out, we got some gray cabinets down here. Yep, we have the stairs here to the left, but I wanna first off take you into the bedroom. We got another mini split. They got this, or they may be gonna have a TV in here. They just ain't got it put up yet. This show actually hasn't started yet, but I'm loving all the drawers that we have in here. Gonna be under your stairwell. Let me see. See a little bit under there. It'll be a great place for storage. And you got this on both sides of your bed. Great spot to put your phone, alarm clock, which is probably your phone, uh, or just anything you need to do. I was gonna say maybe a night light, but check it out. You've already got those in here. Imagine this is gonna be the breaker box, yeah. And then some drawers here and a nice closet. So up to the loft we'll go. Okay, and here we are. This could definitely be a kid's bedroom. It could be a lot of different things. It could be a little playroom as well. And I mentioned it a lot in the past, but what I love is the fact that, you know, you can come right here. Let's see if I can get you. You know, come right here, you can sit, but you can sit right here and your kids can be playing or whatever you need to do. And you know, you got plenty of headroom and all that. Check out the crown molding. Got some windows up here and several outlets. We've got us an outlet here outlet over there one there and then here as well and plus right here behind me you have your switches well there's only one thing left for us to do and that is to get into some important information on this particular model we're going to do that thank you all so much for watching up until this point don't forget to drop a like share and subscribe i'd appreciate it number one would be to share i would really appreciate it if you would do that thank you so yes, this is a tiny house park model that's manufactured in Pennsylvania, and it's Leola. I think I'm pronouncing that correctly, to be exact, which I looked up is close to uh, Philadelphia over there on the east, uh, kind of southeast Pennsylvania. And I looked at it, it's, it's a little over 14 hours from where I live here in Mississippi, so uh, just a hop and a skip away, basically. This is this manufacturer is a part of Skyline, one of Skyline Champions 
they've got, I think, over 50 plants across the nation. So this is just one of them. But yeah, uh, if you want more information, I'll put a few things in the description. Um, while I'm thinking about tiny house park models, I would check out our tiny house playlist. Anything that's park model tiny house that's you know pretty probably on that 500 square foot or smaller, I've tagged under that playlist. So if you want to see more of those types of homes, that's what I would recommend you doing. Now this one for me, um, the, the all the windows on the end was a huge hit for me. I love the countertops. I love that it had a loft. And overall, it's one of the nicest tiny homes that I've ever toured, just to be completely honest with you, because sometimes I walk in them and, and some of it may be because the door's on the side. That re I really just thought about that. Y'all let me know some comments as well that you have about it. But, um, you know, the door's on the front, you come in, it's just, and I guess maybe I've just seen so many of them, I've, I've got kind of used to that, like, basic look, as you would say. But this one with the door on the side, you like walk in, I like that a lot, um, and that literally just hit me. Wow. And that's how you got all those beautiful windows on the front. Okay, um, I just want to tell you the videos come out Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday night, 6.45 Central Time. I've got to actually, uh, next week, I'm going to be going on a trip somewhere, and I'll keep you posted on it. Y'all check me out on Instagram. I post a lot of stories and stuff on there, kind of where I'm at, what's going on. It's Chance's Home World as well. Link will be in the description, but yeah, uh, gonna be gone getting some content, and but so all the videos will still be coming out as scheduled here on the channel, and I've got a pretty, pretty, pretty great list uh, of homes coming out next week. A little bit of everything. See, so y'all stay tuned. Let's uh, quickly get into estimated retail pricing. Now this home was obviously set up at a show, so there's a lot of things that I really don't know as far as freight from the plant to the dealership, retailer, and then from the retailer to where you are possibly. Um, then homes like these, you know, honestly, they could probably ship these all over uh, a dealership could. You you know, as a, as a basically end consumer, you're not gonna purchase this from a manufacturer. You'll go through a retailer, but with that being said, you know, since they're smaller, they, a lot of times these smaller homes, they can ship all over. Now, obviously when it gets near your area, you've got to handle getting it set up and things like that, which is other things that I can't account for. So this will be just a general range for you on something like this with it, you know, I can't really say. The pricing I'm giving is if it was a standard kind of setup in somewhere local to where it's being manufactured. Now, if you take that other route and you're across the country, those are unknowns that I can't give you. But this would be a good idea for the time of recording. Hope I didn't confuse you. I just want to let you know it's, that's why it's such a broad number and it's just estimated retail pricing. Here you go. Well, there you have it. We have successfully toured another house and I just want to let y'all know that I seen the video Thursday night, I seen the comments from the video and some of y'all's comments about the type of jelly y'all like is just driving me straight bananas. Speaking of bananas, have you ever had any of those with I haven't either. I haven't either. Okay. Wait a minute. Now that's peanut butter. Peanut butter banana. That's good. All right. I got to go. Hope you all have a tremendous weekend. God bless you all. Thank you so much for supporting the channel like you do. Uh, man, I want to leave you with a word of encouragement. What's something that I've been thinking about this week? Oh, this right here, y'all. You need to try this. I watched it on a podcast the other night. Something I've been doing before bed. And it's basically thinking about the things that went well today. And I know it sounds crazy and it's like, you know, whatever you could say, but I've been doing it every night before I go to bed and I just kinda, after I have my prayer time and stuff like that, I just think about the things that went well, whether it be, you know, kids were safe, nobody's sick, you know, got to do this or got to do that. And man, it really puts you in a great mindset. I encourage you to try to be doing it for like three weeks now. And it's been, it's been, it's been awesome. So I want to share that with you. I'll see you in the next video. See you.